Avery, everyone! God, what a total cock block that last guy was, right? <laughs> Being like, oh, comedians never actually get laid. I get laid all the time after comedy. That's why I do comedy. It's the only way I get laid. It's awesome. People, I don't know, man, my last, uh, my last uh, relationship, she saw me do a show. And uh, there, she was like, the only reason I talked to you is because you're so funny on stage. And I was just like, all right. And then she found out who I really am. That's why we broke up. You know, so it's like, <laughs> <laughs> you know? That's, that's what gets in comics' way. It's not their stand-up. It's them. That's what I learned. It's me that gets in my own way. It's horrible, the self-destructive tendencies that I bring into a relationship. It's, uh, um, sorry. Um, I think I do need, she's right, I do need to see a therapist. I, just, I think uh, this is not the place to do that. Uh, I don't know, I think uh, therapy is a bunch of, I don't know, because you're just sitting, uh, talking to a guy across from you for like an hour, uh, and then sometimes he stops you and gives you advice. It's like, what the fuck? That's a scam. You know? I could do that in the mirror for free. You? <laughs> what are you doing, you know? But um, I'm just going to the bits now. I, uh, I got to. Uh, that, oh, thank you. Was that a message? <laughs> All right, I, I don't know. I just, my head's on the swivel when I hear phones. I don't know why. But uh, they, uh, they had me take a, a sexual harassment training at work. You ever do that? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. 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 watched the sexual harassment video. You know, not because I needed to. You know, they, like everybody, they had everybody do it. They weren't like you especially. You know, <laughs> weren't singling me out. And I was like sitting there, and I was watching the sexual harassment video, and I was sitting there, and I was thinking about it. And I was like, that means like between getting hired and watching the sexual harassment video, that means there's like a small window of opportunity between getting hired and watching the video that you could potentially harass somebody. You know what I mean? Like you walk into work and you're like, how's it going? Name's Al, new here, sweet tits. And he's like, he hasn't watched the video yet. He hasn't watched the video. New guy at work, he doesn't know. Sorry, Lindy, or whatever you're... Lindy, that's the name I chose to give her tonight. The made up name, Lindy, Sweet Tits Lindy. That's what they call it. <laughs> Everybody at work calls her that. I was like, what, what's wrong? And they're like, we got grandfathered in to call her Sweet Tits Lindy. You are, you're day one. You're a pup. You're a pup, don't get to call out the Sweet Tits. That's, uh, that's... <laughs> anyway. But uh, no, I started a new job because I got fired from that one. Uh, <laughs> And they did not make me watch a sexual harassment video, which was very strange. I was like watching this, I was watching no videos. I was, they just were like, go out there, go out into the world, you know better. And I, that's what I realized. I was like, why the fuck are they having people watch? Like, what is it about a $3 pay difference an hour that means you have to, is somebody so drunk with power that now they're like, I must sexually harass over $3.25? That doesn't make any sense. Did I <laughs> lose everybody with that? It's fine as a new thought. It doesn't mean it means anything, but but uh, now I then why I watch a uh, I like to drive slow when I go by homeless people because uh, I like to I like to stop and read their work. You know, I like, to, I like to look at their signs and actually give them the time of day to actually like I don't give them any money, but I just. <laughs> But I just sit there and I read their signs and I'm like, yeah, you know what? And I think about it, I'm like, yeah, if I was, uh, if I was homeless, if I had one of those cardboard signs, yeah, I'd stand there, I'd have a sign that says, oh, I took a creative writing class. That would be, <laughs> and my sign, very sarcastic homeless guy. Right? <laughs> I get my ass kicked a lot, too. But, uh, no, I just, I was thinking, I was, but you read the sign, you know, you slow down, you try to read the sign. You think about it, you're like, what does that, what does that mean? Like, I was reading this guy's sign the other day that said, Oh God, oh God, I'm in so much pain. Oh God, please help me. There's no release from this suffering. That's not literally what it said, but that's just the subtext of all of them. So, <laughs> I just feel like that's what all the signs mean. Oh, did that, I'm sorry, have you never seen them? All right. <laughs> but that's, that's what it means. Well, that's what they're at. They're crying for help, but nobody's doing anything. We're like, get away from my car, here's three dollars. Uh. It's horrible how we treat people. It's horrible. All of us. It's all of our fault. We're all to blame. Um, but 
No, like I was reading this other guy's sign, because uh, I can't. Yeah. And I was reading the guy's sign, and I was like, uh, and it said, uh, homeless, uh, recently lost my job, uh, anything helps, God bless. And I'm like, oh, not really anything helps, you know. Like, there's a lot of things that would not help, you know. Like, there's, like, only a few things that would help. Food, water, shelter, you know, somebody to hook her to jerk you off, you know, whatever. Those things would help your situation. But if I ran up and like uh, kicked you in the shins, like, that would, that's not gonna, it's gonna help. It's gonna make your life a lot harder. But no, it's like homeless, jobless, anything else. And I was like, you know what? Uh, I know who took his job. That's what I realized. He was jobless. He lost his job. That's what the sign actually said. I misinformed you guys. Uh, just like the Bible, I rewrote it. Uh, <laughs> But no, shut up. That's uh, that's literally history. I'm not being a dick. Ooh, he said something that's historically accurate. What a douchebag! What a douchebag that guy going by the King James version. <laughs> what a fucking asshat that guy is going that like through thousands of years of rewrites has probably been edited a couple times at least. You know? What a dumbass. Like, but anyway, so I'm, like, but I'm, I'm, I'm with the guy. I'm reading his. I'm, I'm thinking about. It. He's like, I'm, you know, he's like, ah, I lost my job. I'm like, I know exactly who took that man's job. I know exactly who took that man's job. That's sign spinners. That's who took that man's job. People spin those fucking signs. Those guys are, make no goddamn sense. Those guys make no. They're flipping the sign around. I'm like, I can't even read it. What are you doing? You dumb fuck. Like. What are you, He's flipping the sign through his legs because he's a failed skateboarder or whatever. He can't even, couldn't, I'm gonna go pro what? Promoting Pizza Hut? Like, what are you gonna? And it's like he's spinning the sign around. I'm like, what direction is this? Sail north? Like, I don't fucking. So sign spinners have taken homeless people's jobs. Because who do you want to hold a sign for your business? Do you want a guy flipping it all over the place? Or do you want a guy who's just gonna stand still so people can read it? A guy that can just hold a sign in any weather. That's who. <laughs> I don't even feel the cold. <laughs> this fingerless gloves is shaking, you know? Of course I'm gonna tip. Then he deserves a tip, you know what I mean? Then, then there's a reason to pay him. He's not just a guy asking for help. <laughs> you know, he's got a guy with a weird job. All right. <laughs> Everybody over here is on my side. Everybody over here has no idea what the fuck is going on. I know who my crowd is. It's all the freaks. Uh, all the fucking freaks. No, I, I, I understand that some people get offended when you use the term homeless. They're like, you need to use more person first language. Use more person first language. You need to say houseless. They're houseless people, not homeless people. Yeah, that's how I want to describe them. Boy, the word that has the term useless in it. That's what I want to That's how I want to call them. That's a great idea. Houseless is literally one W away from being how useless. Yeah, you're a genius. <laughs> Fucking genius. Great idea. How useless people. Yeah. You know what? No, fuck you. I'm going to call him Larry. I'm going to learn his goddamn real name. Is what I'm going to call him. I'm going to call him Larry. I'm going to call him homeless Larry. Because I know a Larry with a house. That's what I'm going to and he prefers that over bald Larry. <laughs> so that I'm gonna call him that then. Have I only done two minutes? <laughs> Is that timer correct? I've only done two minutes of time? You're at like 12. Oh, thank God. <laughs> and I was like, oh, I just blew through all that material. And... Oh god, I was like, this is gonna be a long Am I in comedy purgatory right now? It's just time moves so slow and your bits barely kill. You're like, oh god, I got the homeless stuff. What, what, yeah, yeah, yeah. What's gonna happen next? You know what I will say, and I'm not gonna make any friends with this next thing. Um, <laughs> no, ooh, I'm gonna shut the fuck up. I hate that guy more. That's the sound of what a sloth from the Goonies. <laughs> I hate that shit. I don't know why. I don't know why. Actually, it shouldn't irritate me. It's a me problem. It's not you, man. You're, you're actually probably a good guy. You're a good guy. You're making the right noises because that's how you feel. And uh, I'm a bitter hermit. 
of a Persian lamb. <laughs> but uh, no, I uh, I don't you know I don't like them necessarily. But uh, school shootings are the best anti-bullying campaign we've ever had. <laughs> it's not no no before you. I know how you feel. I'm not saying they're good. I'm not saying they're good. I'm just saying that's the best we could fucking do in school shootings. That's the best we can do to prevent bullying in school shootings. You say, how many bullies? Let me ask you guys, how many bullies are left after a school shooting? Zero! There are zero bullies left. The number is exactly none. Because even the five kids who are left, would you hope? You know? Can't deny that they're not going to be way nicer to each other after having this huge bonding experience where they're never going to lose contact with each other again. I'm sorry, did I blow your fucking mind telling you guys this? Did you never think about it before? I'm not being offensive, I'm being right. I'm sorry that I told you guys this news of why our uh, whole uh, entire uh, country is crumbling. Anyway, I'm not. Thanks, man. <laughs> no, because they, they, I was I was in school. You know, before you go, oh, does this guy is this guy allowed to talk about this? Yes, because I've been to high school. I've been a, I've been to high school. I've been a high schooler during the school shooting up upbringing thing when it started happening the most. I remember that a day after a shooting, they had us. Uh, it was Halloween, and they had us walking the, the track in circles, and they were playing that MIA song where all I want to do is <laughs> so We were just walking in circles. I saw a girl dressed as Campbell's chicken noodle soup crying. I was like, what the fuck is wrong with us? There was a school right over there, and they got shot up, and we were like walking, trudging in circles. Let's have fun. <laughs> all I want to do is <laughs> And take your money. It's, this is not. This is not good to play over a huge speaker over a. So they would be all like, "Yeah, the zero tolerance policy against bullying. Yeah, zero tolerance. Zero tolerance. No tolerance for bullying. Like bullying is mean. You can't do it here. You're not allowed. You know who had? And then nothing would happen. That's what happened. Nothing would happen. So you'd be at school. You get beaten up over the internet and in person, and you know, you're all like, this, uh, this is horrible, I feel mentally terrible, and uh, no bullying has stopped at all. You know who has a zero tolerance against bullying? A weird kid with an AR-15. That's who, that's who has a zero tolerance against bullying. I'm not saying I agree with them, but I see how that your mind would come to that conclusion. All right, well, I'll move on, because, uh, what am I doing on time now? 16, 16 minutes. You know, you can't really, you can't get all the people to like you all the time. <laughs> Are you shocked, man? I, your husband looks bored. Are you bored, sir? How do you feel right now? Did I do something to you? Did I, did I hurt you in some way, man? Listen, I get, people will make fun of me. They'll be like, you look like a school shooter. <laughs> like, you look like you'd be a school shooter. I'd be like, what a dumb thing to say that somebody might shoot you. Like, what a... <laughs> you look like a school shooter. Don't do it, you know. By the way, if you guys are tense enough because you think I might shoot... No, this audience is too small. Like, this is... <laughs> We didn't sell enough tickets, these numbers wouldn't be impressive enough. I'm looking at all of you now, and it's all a room full of white people. Yeah, we get some coverage, but who would give a fuck at the same time, you know? You look like a school shooter, which is the worst insult, because they're saying you look like a school shooter, not you are. They're saying you look like, you look like one of those creeps, but you are a pussy. That's what you are. I know you don't have the balls to do it. That's what they're saying. But, um, you guys ever see those, uh, roadside memorials? <laughs> you know, those, like, crosses on the side of the road? Yeah. Yeah. Those are, those are fascinating, you know, because you look at it, you look at them, and you're just like, uh, well, I, when I was a kid, like, you know, I grew up, uh, the way I grew up, uh, I didn't think of them as crosses. I didn't think of the cross like that. I thought they were just X's marking a point of impact. You know, like, 
how arrogant those men are. You know what I mean? It's like, because you only ever see the cross. You never see any other religious symbols except the cross. You only ever see a cross. You never see like a, I guess it's like other people don't die from this. We won't be all like, you never see like a star of David, yin yang symbol, you know? You never see a Buddha on the side of the road, right? And they say aliens are bad drivers. What the? That's not, that's clearly a lie. Christians are the worst. It's like, maybe stop letting Jesus take the wheel. Maybe you are Maybe you're the worst driver. Maybe. It's so arrogant. They got these, they got these fucking crosses on the side of the road. Like how arrogant is it? Like only uh, is it only Christians that can drink and drive and go to heaven? Is that what it is? <laughs> Sorry if you lost someone today, but it's also weird too because you never actually know the beliefs of the person who died. It's just all we know is their families were Christians. <laughs> they could have been all like, "Yeah, I was a staunch Satanist, uh, and I'm glad I'm dead because of that fucking." All right, anyway. <laughs> Because of my overbearing mother who had to sign, who still had to like decide what flowers were going to be at the end of it. But, you know, she, it's crazy, you know? It's like, why would you, why would you take driving lessons from Jesus? You know what I mean? That guy walked everywhere. <laughs> that guy grew up in 16C, Jesus saves, not this time, you know? 16C. I don't think they have driving driver's ed in 16C or whatever. He's born. I, I don't have the dates right. I know. I know about that stuff. But they'd be like, Jesus rode in on an ass. That's a form of transportation we need to bring back. <laughs> ass. I would like to ride ass to work, please. Yes. I want a big fat ass to ride to work. I would love that. I don't care what animal it is, preferably woman, but I would. <laughs> But I'll ride any ass to work. And like sit, some guy's got his music blaring and his muffler, no muffler car. You're sitting there on an ass. You're like, who's gangster now, bitch? <laughs> Who's the fastest ass in the West? <laughs> you know. I'm ready to get out of here. <laughs> I don't know if I'll survive the night. I don't know if you've fully accepted me into your fold. Quite yet. But, uh, you see, uh, people say suicide isn't the answer. <laughs> what? This is. Am I learning? I feel like I'm learning more about me than you guys. Maybe <laughs> you need to stop having me open. Uh, <laughs> Because I'm, I'm setting the wrong tone, I think, for the... Every other guy that's going to come up here tonight is lovely and great to hang out with. <laughs> this is the, the mind goes through my mind. It's uh, sick, disgusting thoughts. And just a madman. <laughs> but no, it's suicide isn't... Like, suicide isn't the answer. Suicide isn't the answer. Suicide isn't the answer, you know, it's not the answer, it's not the answer, but it's my favorite, so it's... <laughs> you know, because, like, because nobody asked what was the question. Nobody asked what was the question, and the question is, how do you want to die? And that's a multiple choice answer to that question. That's, nobody has, nobody really even has, only suicide is the one that you even have control over. That's all it is, I have control issues. I'm not saying I'm going to do it now, I'm going to plan it for later, but... I'm gonna do it when I want. I'm gonna go off Hunter S. Thompson style on my own terms when I'm 60, fucking a 25 year old. You know, I'm gonna, gonna just do a cocktail of drugs and blow my brain out. And, like, it's gonna be a grand old time. You know, I'm gonna fucking leave with a legend. That's what I wanna do. I wanna have a legacy first. And if I don't, then I'll probably kill myself sooner. But. Right. Well, this is what I mean, this is what mental illness does look like. I mean, I mean, I could be the poster boy for mental illness. That's what I would have me. But uh, just like a picture of my headshot, and just uh, like on next to the uh, anti-abortion billboard when you're on the road, it's just a picture of my headshot, and it's like go to therapy. <laughs> but uh, no, the question is, how do you want to die? And the answers are A, surrounded by my loved ones, uh, softly, quietly, uh, in a nice soft room full of white light and, and flowers and love, and uh, very, 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 very old. 
so old. I want to die so, so old. That's A. That's how everybody wishes it'll happen. And then B is like a freak accident. Like, really, where they're like, he was gone too soon. It was like either an illness, freak accident, they're like, gone. He was gone too soon. Which some people are gone at the right time, I feel like. <laughs> some people, that stuff happens to them, and you're like, I'm so glad they were gone at the exact right time. <laughs> That was the right time for that person to go. And then and then you got C, my favorite, taking your own life. That's, you got that one? And then you got, there's always one that's actually the wrong answer. It's D, that's uh, death row. That's a, you do not want death row. That's the, you did something nefarious and uh, you do not want that one. Is that uh, time? <laughs> yep, all right, perfect.